your title, Miss USA, how have you been preparing for Miss Universe? I mean, so many ways. I'm making sure, like, you know, my mental psyche is always, like, very leveled and sane. I try to go to the gym at least three times a week. And I'm just, like, you know, staying well informed with what's going on in the news because as Miss USA, as a contestant, it's important to always have an opinion about things that are going on. Um, what about diet and exercise? Obviously, you were training pretty hard for Miss USA. Did you have to right. continue on with any changes to diet and exercise? So living in New York, you burn so many calories when you walk and take the subway. So I've actually picked up a lot of like a lot more carbohydrates than usual. But I'm always about eating like you know very whole meals. So I'm really big into like a lot of cooked vegetables and as well as like you know lean meats like fish. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so are you feeling ready for this competition next week, the official competition? Are you nervous, excited? So I'm a little bit of everything. I'm nervous, I'm excited. I'm just like kind of in an area of just like euphoria right now because I'm still in shock at the fact that I get to represent USA at the Miss Universe competition. There's been a lot of amazing Miss USAs that come before you. Have any of them given you any great advice on how to handle Miss Universe? Absolutely. Deshauna Barber, Olivia Jordan, Olivia Culpo, Nia Sanchez. I mean, the list goes on. The sisterhood is real. We really do stick together. And when they say pick up the phone and call them, they absolutely mean that. So to my successor coming up after me, know that I mean it as well. Please give me a call. Use me at your expense because I totally understand what you will be going through. Do you have a beauty must or a beauty tip that you'd love to share? Absolutely. It's actually a phrase. It's nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. So always hold on to that because that's going to take you far in life. And I use it as a beauty tip and beauty must at all times. So my next question is getting into the costume and it's perfect timing because you're blinking. You yes. Blinking. <laughs> Tell me about your costume, what's inspired it, and how you kind of came to this. Absolutely. So you know I'm actually a scientist. I was a nuclear scientist at the United States Nuclear Regulatory Commission. So I wanted something that was going to embody everything about me, which is science. And right here on my plate, you'll see the word she. So it's the elements, which is sulfur and helium. I had a conversation with a couple of girlfriends. I'm like, I need to put some other like science touch onto my costume. Cause you know, I studied chemistry. So they said, let's put some words together for the periodic table. And we added she, because guess what? She can be a scientist. She can be Miss USA. She can be an oral surgeon. She can be a reporter. She can be anything she wants in life. As long as she stays persistent. I love that. Thank you. And then tell me just how much work went into designing this. Absolutely. Were you involved? Did you kind of tell your designer, this is what I want? Definitely. So I had a conversation. I said, I want these components. I want a science thing in the background. So what he did was he was the one that actually envisioned the atom behind me. I just kind of wanted smoke and like uh, like the breastplate on here saying she, but the atom really came into place because this is just the national symbol for science. But it was a long process and I'm so glad that it came to fruition.